central angles. So based on that central angle, we can have different types of arcs. Okay, so the, cent the angles, as we're referring to these, will be angles with the center at the, the vertex at the center, and then the arcs, we're going to actually talk about the curve of the arc. And we're going to talk about the angle associated with that curve. So let's look at this one. Okay, we have a minor arc. Okay, here's A and here's B. And as you can see from A to B, it is darkened. So we're referring to that arc. So if I draw in my central angle, you can see this arc. The arc is going to have the same measure as the central angle. And this angle is less than half the circle. We know a circle has 360 degrees, right? So when we take a central angle and we're looking at a minor arc, that minor arc is going to have a measure that is less than 180 or less than half of that arc. So A to B is less than half of the circle, so that central angle is going to be less than half of a hundred or less than 180. So central angles take on the measure of the arc. So let's say, for example, this central angle measured 100 degrees. That means the arc associated with that would also take on a measure of 100 degrees. So the central angle and the arcs have matching measures. Okay, so a minor arc is an arc that has a measure that is less than 180, therefore the central angle is less than half of the circle. So let's look at this next one. We have a B a diameter. And let's draw in the center right there so you can see it truly is a diameter. Okay, from A through C to B is half of the circle. So the measure of this semicircle is half of 360 or half the circle. So the measure is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so that's what a semicircle is. Semi meaning half, just like hemi is. Okay, now major arc. A major arc is an arc that goes from A through B all the way over to C. And notice this darkened area covers more than half of the circle. So if I draw in the two radii that are associated with this, from A to the center and C to the center, you can see this darkened part is more than half. So it's considered a major arc. So it's a measure that is greater than 180 or greater than a semicircle. So that's what a minor arc is, a, ma a semicircle, and a major arc. Okay, it's all in relation to 180 degrees. And the central angle, where the vertex is at the center, will have the same measure as the arc associated with that. Okay, so let's go down and kind of apply that to this next section. Okay, identify the given arc as major, minor, or a semicircle, then find the measure of each arc. So A, D. They want us to find the arc, and notice this symbol, it's an arc symbol. So if you see a curve instead of a line, it's just referring to the arc. The arc's measure is the same as the central angle. So since this central angle is 70, that means arc AD will have a measure equal to 70 degrees. And we know that when a measure is less than 180, it's considered a minor arc. So this one would be minor. Okay, let's look at AB. Well, we don't have a measure at AB. But we do have 50 here, and we do have 70 here. And we see that this line segment from C to D is a diameter. So that means this is a semicircle. So 70 plus 50, that's 120. And I know that the semicircle has 180, so that must mean that what's left is 60 degrees. So that means arc AB, the central angle 60, so the measure of the arc is equal to 60, because they're the same. And since it's 60, it is also a minor arc, because minor is defined as any measure less than 180. Okay, C to D, C, D. Are we talking about this half or this half? Well, actually, it doesn't matter because we know that they're the same. 
because CD is a diameter, the segment CD is a diameter, so that means the arc CD is a semicircle, and a semicircle measures 180 degrees. Okay, so let's try this one, C, uh, B, C, D. That means my endpoints are B and D, but it has to go through point C to get there. So it's not this direction, but it's this direction from B through C to D. So B to C from C to D. Well, we know C to D is 180. And then we've got an extra 50. So we can just add those two together. And that gives us 230 is the measure. And we know that that's greater than 180, so it is a major arc. Now notice, major arcs are named with three letters instead of two. Minor arcs are named with two. Even a semicircle can be named with two. It's actually preferable to use three for a semicircle so you know which direction you're going. But if all they're asking for is the measure, we know this 180. So looking at the next one, ACD, what does that immediately tell us? It's probably a major arc. So let's look. A through C over to D. Hmm, that's from here way around to here. So that means it's the whole circle except this one little part. So you have two ways you can do this. You can take each small part and add it up. So we'd have 60 plus 50 plus 180. And we can add those together. Or we can say, okay, it's the whole circle except this one little slice. So we could take 360, which is the whole circle, and just subtract 70. Either way, you get 290 degrees, and we know that is a major arc. Okay, so two ways to do it: add all three parts up, or subtract from 180 or 360. Okay, B to C, B to C. That's the small arc. That means it's minor, and it's only 50. So we have 50 that was given to us, and it is a minor arc. So there you go. That's kind of how you define those and how you find those. Again, I like these.